What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. The sun, at that point, within five billion years, the sun will have eaten the earth because <laughs> it'll become a red giant. Unless we move the earth, which is possible. How and would we move the earth? Hold well, on. It's easy. You can't just say that. I mean, it's easy. I threw it out We're there. We're trying to get to Mars right now, and that's I know. Hard. That's going to be hard. But in, a, in a five billion years, maybe you could move the earth. It might be easier to move the earth than to get to Mars, in a way. Real? All right. You're going to have to defend that one. Yeah, I know. Um, be, well, actually, I learned this from a friend of mine. He actually won the Nobel Prize in physics. He's a pretty good physicist. But um, uh, so... Uh, all you have to do, if, if, if you want to move the Earth out, you have to change its, its, gra its energy of its motion. And the way you can change the energy of motion is if three bodies collide, they can exchange energy. Mm. So all you have to do is direct asteroids close to the Earth, but not close enough to hit it. And, and they'll gain energy in the process of that interaction of the Earth and Sun system. How but would you do that? Well, you'd go, you'd go out to them and put a little rocket on them and, or, and, or, knock them, <laughs> or knock them to the side. The way we want to protect the Earth, by the way, right? We know there are objects that are going to collide with the Earth and cause massive destruction if they don't move it. So as it has a, in the past. As has in the past. And we now have a system of looking for those things. And as you probably know, NASA did a test mission last year where they, they, they knocked into a they, – they basically had a, had a, a, a rocket knock into a – Wait, uh, I don't. I don't you didn't remember know that? this. Maybe small, I do, but it's not in there right they, now. They, walk, they they knocked into a small asteroid and saw the change in its motion. That's probably the How way. How did they knock into it? They took a, a, a spacecraft and and rammed it into it. You don't know about that? No. Look it up. I don't. It's on like, Google. And unlike most things that's on Google, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's a we're, we're gonna put a pin in that one all right nasa's dart, dart data validates kinetic impact as planetary defense mission yeah let's scroll down alessi if you don't mind this is the video right here if you want to see it all right yeah can we put this video in the corner this might be copyright but so in which case we'll just leave it's it on nasa the screen. so i don't think it is actually but it probably oh, yeah, it's it, it's, it might be too well, long the, do you check how long quick, it is it's a brief one it's a synopsis. Yeah. so is the, this is the takeoff of it yeah is that like a rocket yeah it's a rocket what do we call a rocket? how big is that thing big <laughs> like, like, all right, but like, what are we talking? Like, I don't know, maybe ten stories. That's actually okay. Oh, the the object itself is small. It's probably a ton or less. Did it? Ha did they put anything special in there, like a nuclear bomb or no, something? No, 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 they don't. No, they just hit it. Guys, if you're enjoying this clip, make sure you check out my main channel, Julian Dory, as well. The link is in the description below. That's where I post the full podcast episodes, including the one that you're watching a clip of right now. So I hope to see you over there, and please smash that subscribe button when you head there. They just okay. rammed it into the asteroid. That's it right there. That's it. Whoa. So they have the video right here. And, and it impacted on that small asteroid. And how far away was this asteroid, approximately? Far. I don't know. Far. And there's people happy. One of the few times you have a collision that people are happy about. When did they, how long did it take after launch for it to reach that? Uh, probably, it probably took, uh, I, I, again, I don't remember, but my bet is it took over a year. Whoa. That's not, but you know what though? That's not that far. No, I know. But that point is that if you know far, if we, if we have a planetary defense system where we have telescopes looking for potential Earth colliding objects that are, say, that will take 10 years to get here. If we see them far enough, you know, maybe take 10 years to get here, then you might imagine getting a rocket and launching it with enough time to deflect its trajectory by enough to, to, to miss the Earth. And that's the mm. idea of planetary defense. It's a really useful thing. I mean, the likelihood that we're going to be hit is small. The big asteroids take maybe once every 100 million years, okay? Smaller uh, we'll ones, okay. well, those are Earth-destroying asteroids. But ones that could cause havoc are probably, you know, more frequent but it's not that not that frequent but it's still a reality unlike many things that people spend money on how and big was the asteroid that took out the dinosaurs it, i th it, it was probably uh, um it, it was it was between one and ten kilometers across in size see that's not that big i know but it I know it isn't that big. A one kilometer asteroid would that hit the Earth would cause massive def uh, uh, devastation. Uh, Hundred so? meters wouldn't, but uh, one kilometer, and so ten kilometers is probably Earth life destroying. Is it because the force of the impact gets it down to like the core? No, or, no, no, or no, not no nothing core, like that. Like no, 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 no. It didn't. This one that the, that the one that killed the dinosaurs that landed in Chicxulub. It just landed. What there's a big crater in the underwater. Now it's underwater in Central America. And um, 
So it wasn't the crater. It was. It produced a lot of things like tidal waves, but it also in the at, in the atmosphere, it's going very fast and it and it burning hot and it produced and it knocked out stuff that would produce fires throughout the whole world. So, you know, there's many w different ways you could have imagined. So that could have changed the climate and destroyed dinosaurs. It might have affected the, the oceans, the, the acidic level of the oceans from all the, uh, uh, the, the, the force of the impact and the fires that happened. So there's no one, I think, it's not clear what, mech, what exactly killed the dinosaurs, but, but uh, as a result of that collision, but it could do many different things that would do it. And so you wouldn't want to be around when such a thing happened. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.